Hello, it's Adam from Brickshare Studios, and today we have the third part of building Corellia, specifically the chase scene at the beginning of Solar Star Story. In front of you here is my building that we started last week. It looks very different. It has walls now, and it has a roof, and it has some nice detailed walls that I made. I've got some pieces next to me so I can just do some finishing touches on the top because there's not much there at the moment. So, yep, yeah. I'll give you a little tour of it. You have a little door in here. There's not much of an interior, but there is a little bit of an interior. I mean, I might, I might add a little better, but then there's some stairs specifically that lead up to this trap door that just leads up so you can get up to the top. I was in the second story, but then I realised I didn't have enough bricks, so I might just leave it, or I might buy some parts or something. I don't know. But, that is what I've done this week so far. It's not it wasn't much, but I was doing a lot of other stuff. So let's get into the segment and build some of the the uh, building. So I don't know what I'm I'm thinking something. I mean I don't know, I don't know what I'm thinking, but it's something to do on the roof because it looks very bland and plain at the moment. If I could just raise you guys up on the tripod. Here we go. It's very bland up there, isn't it? boring. I have my box next to me, the big one, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna show you what I can do. So, hmm, I think I'm gonna make me a little boundary, like that, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, honestly, I honestly don't know what to do. I mean, I could put some little tidbits up here, maybe. I could find some weapons and put some weapon racks up here. So maybe it could be a criminal gang. Maybe I could, I could put a criminal gang here and they could be like trying to assassinate Han Solo maybe. Or something when he flies past in his speed or something. Or Moloch or the uh, Stormtrooper people. I might put some gun racks here. So, uh, what gun? What guns? Um, something like this maybe. Something a simple, simple thing like that. So you could just put the guns in there. Like, let's, let's for, for example, use this axe piece. So you could have the axe like that. And then you could have it like there. You have the weapons pointing out here, facing downwards. And the people just come up the trap door. And then the minifigures can come up the trap door, get the guns, and start shooting. I use this person as an example. But yeah, that's, that's what we can do with that. So if I just put that there. I was thinking of using these big cannons. I think I might use one of these. I might make sort of something uh, attack a big cannon that comes off here. Maybe I think it'll be quite a cool thing to do. So um, I'm just gonna get some bricks so I can make like, a simple one. Oh jeez. There's one. There's two. So if we get, I need to get a rod. Ooh. It should work, or should it? It should work. We'll just put that in there. So I'm, I'm just building the uh, little, the little gun tower I'm thinking of. I mean, it's pretty basic at the moment. It's not proper design. You could have it elevated like here, and that could be. Hmm. Just put it. Let's put it here for the moment. Nope, nope, here. So there you go. You can have a turret like that, and it could, it could be on a swivel base, so you could make it turn and stuff. I think it'd be quite a cool thing to do. We can have a turret. It can be very war based up here, not like just gonna be a couple weapons and stuff. You know. Um what else? What else can we put up here? I mean cause whew, whew, I'm stuck for ideas now. Um if anyone does have any ideas, can you put them in the comments for this and I'll see if I can maybe make it but I've got, I've got a roof piece or something. Um, hoo -hoo. You could probably put a control panel like here, like that, and then someone could press it down. Actually, yeah, there's, there's a there's a jetpack piece in here that I'm going to replace, and I'm going to put it up here. It will fit. Actually, I'm going to put uh, something else here as well. I've got tons of pieces next to me. 
So I'm going to put one of these, a little pole, just there. And then I want to put, I want to put this jetpack there. Just for someone to you know, like be a Django first. So they can come up, come up there, get the jetpack on and fly off. Uh, that would be quite cool again. I'm breaking it. Oh god, I've broke I've broken the stairs. No, I haven't. Okay, I fixed it. Oof, there we go. Um Yeah, that's that's all I've got so far. Um you, I mean I'm gonna move on now because I mean I'm I'm just gonna bore you guys. And I'm gonna put the building aside and I'm gonna take my other base plates and show you what I'm planning on doing. So we have our base plates here, as you know, you can you know the building that I'm fin that I did last week. Um, that was quite a cool build. And you probably know I'm gonna put the mi mini tantiv, uh, like flying above. I mean, it's I might, I might shrink it down a little bit, might make a smaller on my own. But with this building, I'm gonna have to raise it up one because, as you know, the uh, buildings will raise it up one, so I can have them in sections. Just to make it easier to transport if I need to transport it anywhere. Probably won't, but I'm just doing it. So with these base plates, uh, one of them is going to have a corner of water in them. So that's going to be probably this one. So I'll, I'll cut a corner, like, like make a corner in bricks. So I'll have to do something, contract or something. I'm going to buy those studs. I don't have any at the moment. If I do... I'll put it in as soon as I can, but if not, I will just uh, buy the studs to make that happen. But anyway, problem with these is with the other thing, I covered it with the plates, the grey plates. And um, the only things I have left are these big things here, these big thick ones. And they're not very useful to me, I mean I could use them in a couple places. But they're a bit like discoloured, as you can see. You probably can't see in the video, but in when I'm looking at them, they're a bit discoloured. That's mostly because they're from like the original Harry Potter sets that I've got a couple on eBay. And yeah, so they're probably from that. So I'm going to buy some more plates so I can do that to make them nice, and awesome. And I'm just going to litter them. I'm going to put tons of like bricks and random mechanical stuff like walkie talkies and everything there so like because we're an industrial planet Corellia so there's going to be stuff lying around I'm going to put tools there spanners drills all the all like the machinery they, they're going to make I'm going to buy more some more of them so I'm going to be buying a little, little a bit of lego of bricklink or maybe pick a brick or whatever but um yeah that's probably all I'm going to all I'm going to say today this has been Corellia part 3. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there probably won't be much progress by next week. Because I might not order the, the, the parts this week. Because I'm just about to order a big lot of Lego from Lego Shop at home. So, if if I don't see you then, then I'll have to see you in two weeks. Because if there's nothing to, if not, nothing to document on the part then I won't record a video. So if there's not one there, you'll know that I haven't done anything. So yeah, it's been Corellia Part 3. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!